Welcome, beloved. If you look me up, I'm a writer. Daniel F. Owsley. Here's one of my books, Jesus and the Temptation. And then I wrote Demon Possessed and Parables of Healing. Here was a good book, Rebuking the Pharisees. I felt especially blessed when I wrote Ordination of the Holy Twelve. Thoroughly enjoyed writing this one, and I did go to journalism school, people. Uh, the Inferno of Infernos. And so blessed was I to retell the story of blind Bartimaeus and the paralytic. Real fast-paced look at the greatest dance of all dances, Salome's Dance of the Seven Bells. She's the one that caused uh, John the Baptist's head to be put on a platter because she danced her heart out and uh, shook her off, if you know what I mean for Herod, and he, uh, that was it. And then, uh, the multiplication of the uh, loaves and the fishes. Very great book. Here was a book, The Rejection of Christ. Man, we better stop doing that. It, it was about attempts on his life. They were going to throw him off the hill in uh, Nazareth. And, man, it was so close. This is a book of my praise, the wonder of his loveliness. My God, people, if you knew how lovely he really is. The reason that I'm showing you all these books that I have written of heaven and hell is another, is because I'm well uh, studied, and I'm very well read, and I am an author, and the Word of God has always proclaimed end time writer, line by line, precept by precept, would the strong and mighty one come forth in the latter days. And I thoroughly loved writing Gideon. And uh, man, the Bible just comes alive if you let it within your heart. Here's one, Thus saith the Lord. I loved writing that one. Again, it was a work of praise. Jesus and his temptation. The Apocryphon Gospel of James by Reverend Daniel F. Owsley. Bet you guys didn't know I was actually ordained legally. I could have married and buried if I had wanted to. The Wings of Love Prophetic Ministries ordained me. Jeez, many years ago. There I am, the uh, the writer. So love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace, faith from faith, and mercy from he who is our everlasting merciful one. I am Daniel from the north, as correctly uh, foretold in Daniel 12 and in Isaiah 41 from the north, the messenger unto Israel. Here's a, here's a few that uh, I've written. The Vision of the Kingdom Age. Here's a Ancient UFO Prophecy by Daniel F. Owsley. And uh, that was a beautiful book right there, The Shining Lion. And uh, then I wrote Giants of Olden Days, researched all of history past in order to restore all things, this was all necessary. That was a nice book. Knowledge of Good and Evil by Daniel F. Owsley. And I wrote that one. And I wrote this one. I can't. I don't have my glasses on. I wrote that one too. And that one. And that one. And that one. And that one. That's not me. I don't know who that is. We're looking at Google now. And I thoroughly enjoyed writing one called The Inferno of Infernos. And here's two more nice ones that I wrote. I wrote a lot of books, people. Probably 200 books to prepare for my ministry. And the Ascension of Yeshua HaMashiach, great book. But hey, all this is recorded on my other channel. 
uh, line by line, precept by precept, as it is foretold. But of all books that I've written, this is the last testament of Christ, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus. I'm probably the most proud of this because I designed all the color and uh, I worked many years on this and uh, 20 years I wrote. And guess what? I could never even give it away. But that is how it would be because our carpenter of the ages has always promised to tear down before he builds up the kingdom age in Jeremiah 1.10, Haggai 2.2, 2, that he would tear down all the kingdoms of man's faith, all imaginations not built totally by his, uh, his kingdom age covenant. Chains of all religion shall now be broken by Adonai as he tears down its renovation time, the restoration of Acts 3.21 that must happen where he cannot return according to that word of love. This is the restoration of Elijah, Matthew 17, 11, before his return. So praise the Lord. This is the last covenant of Christ that was never given unto mankind. God gave the words, and he was the author. He was the writer. He was the sender of his message. But I am the messenger of Malachi 3 one that prepares his way by his own message of kingdom age love. And praise the Lord that the mystery of God has ended because God has sent his covenant to unto his people Israel so that they can inherit all mankind. Isaiah 54, 3. Proof inconclusive. Now, nah, it is absolutely, absolute proof. Nothing inconclusive. And the darkness of the darkest ages is leaving as God commands all to stop, look, and listen as they open the canons of all religions. There are beautiful things about faith, nor does Christ's last testament, uh, nor does Christ's last testament now come forth to do away with any faith, uh, just all nuclear bombs. But once the faithful accept his truths, they'll know that he wants unity for them and that he's always been over them since he is their birthright of, of love. But as it is written, we must be born again. You must be as a little child with your love moving in as a verb in action not dying, uh, rendered loveless, becoming part of the walking dead. Repent of your sin that tears apart your love. And praise the Lord that our love of the ages, he has proven that he even loves all of his enemies. So love from love, hope from hope, and it's time to get excited the living word of God has opened again. Daniel 12, 9. His word was only closed until the time of the end. And all those looking behind could never see ahead. But since the Lord is now pouring out his spirit upon all flesh, they'll finally be able to see in spite of their former spiritual ignorance. For the light of love shall now heal their most ignorant blindness which never saw any hypocrisy in an unloving Lord of love who would fry all liars eternally. People, he is saying to all mankind, I will forgive your iniquity and I will never remember it. It was written correctly to all mankind. If he throws one of us into hell whose love is alive and moving as a child, then he would be a liar. Thus saith the Lord, the only people going to hell, says our beloved love, will be loveless blasphemers, blasphemers, I can't even say it, blasphemers of my Holy Spirit who have not been born again, as 1 John 4, 7 describes. For those who love are born of God and know God, because God is love. So woe unto the rich, cursing love, for many will perish with an incinerating flames of their very own creation, 
as the poor tear down heaven's gates. Praise God for that. And now comes the Lord's tribulation promise for mankind. Jeremiah 30, 24, resounding again. He says unto all people of the earth, he says, I shall return my terrifying anger and stop the fast rising great tribulation if mine people shall give me the desire of my heart that I prayed for so passionately with tears in Gethsemane. So know well that love is forgiveness and they shine as one for each cannot exist among men without the other. And as Jeremiah taught, our kingdom age prophet, there shall be no more need to learn about the Lord because beyond the revelation of him as love unconditional, there is nothing else to know of him. And therefore, as it is written in Jeremiah 1.10, now comes the shattering of the power of the holy people, Jeremiah 1.10, which, which is the canon's opening, because this is the message that he has sent from heaven. And in these days of the Lord giving Israel their new name, Chrislam, they now have inherited all mankind, Isaiah 54, 3 predicted ever so clearly, because now they have their kingdom age covenant given and sent to them to restore all things. So it's time for champions of love, and it's time for kingdom age prophecy. If, uh, as all those of all religions look back towards the hope of peace ahead, let all burdens now be put down as love casts away all fear. For it's time, for such a time as this, for everyone to get on the same page. For divided we have fallen, but united we shall stand tall as those of all religions see that it's a world of laughter, a world of tears, and a world of faith, and a world of festering fears and tears that only perfect love can cast away. There's so much good and bad that we all share, but the days of man's golden age is, is just ahead for those of love's faith if they will realize that there will not be a kingdom age if we do not begin it now, unless these days former were cut short by God's word anew, just as it is proclaimed in Matthew 24, 22 by the master, uh, no flesh could be saved. So know that it is time that we stand still and watch the salvation of the Lord, for he has made a way where there has seemed to be no way at all. And it's definitely time when everyone should know that it's a small world after all. And then the spirit of prophecy added, people are exactly the same and their Lord of love's all seeing sight. And there's just one moon and one golden sun of love and one smile means friendship that even the deaf can hear. So it's time to raise up sh shields of faith. And even though religions divide people as mountains, and even though their oceans of doctrines are wide in between them, it shall always be a real small world after all, as all those of love arise to see that it's, that it's also their time to obey their Lord. For his small blue world is in mighty big trouble and it can't take much more people. And so he who is the beloved, the blessed, and the adored is now pouring out his love through this messenger upon all flesh. And now comes the pillars of God's unconditional love. It's therefore time for servants of love to rejoice, let the jubilee of jubilees begin. And let the angels sing that God's love is unconditional and has always been, and it is provable in these days of Daniel. And 
this is in memory of my sister, Trudy Darlene. She and I are the two uh, of Zachariah 4. A uh, candlestick was lit for her and I. Totally two different witnesses than that of Revelation 11. We had the candlestick experience with an electric light being lit, never being plugged in. And then would come the flying scroll of Zechariah 5. And uh, man, it, the, the Bible has been so amazing in my life. So behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the whole world from every single being of divine love whom we were all originally created to be. Now the word of his restoration comes forth as a command from that roaring lion of Zion as he unveils his age-old secrets, for this world was made with very great age. And God's kingdom comes right now. The kingdom age gospel of the dove that Paul passionately predicted in Galatians 1.8 now brings forth the Messiah's restoration for everyone of love from all religions. For this word of man's restitution of Acts 3.21 is the same good news of the Lord's unconditional love and forgiveness that he preached. So let the faithful few of the Abrahamic faiths now embrace this word like their lives depended on it. For if this warning isn't embraced, all men shall soon die by uh, nuclear war and the other apocalyptic happenings that will unfold exactly as it is written. And even if the angels preached any other word aside from this everlasting gospel of Revelation 14, 6, uh, such would be uh, from demons in disguise, for love alone is uh, the spirit of prophecy of all true interpretation, as Daniel of Matthew 17, 11, myself has received mouth to mouth from the Lord whispering, just as Moses did. I challenge anyone to listen to my very first video under uh, my other channel uh, and tell me that I don't sound my writing just like Moses. Uh, so praise the Lord that uh, it's time that the curse can finally be reversed. And these shall be days burning as an oven uh, in Malachi 4, one means that it shall now become God's pie in the eyes time for all religious Pharisees, uh, right in the smiling face of Christ's eternal covenant. Think of it this way, O oh people of love. It's not the end of the world, it's the start of a brand new one. For Jesus said in John 10:16 that he had other flocks who would hear his voice, and then there would only be one flock and one shepherd over all of them. And all opposed to this faith of Chrislam spit in Christ's face because uh, they take not to heart his prayer for our oneness. He has now united us because his covenant has been addressed to all mankind. Jeremiah thirty-two twenty-seven. I am the Lord God of all mankind. And video by video shall I build this mountain, the foundation stone of truth, Christ Jesus himself, Isa Yeshua. So arise and uh, look unto the heavens, for Emmanuel, our God with us, comes upon the winds, and he stands upon the great white cloud of Revelation 14 the same great white cloud of Matthew 24, and he has sent forth his everlasting gospel writer. And who can endure the revelation day of God's secrets? Who cannot tremble at his servant Daniel's coming and just ignore him because they cannot fathom it in their little brains? Who could deny me as the Elijah messenger of Malachi who actually has a message those seeing John the Baptist as his writer are delusional. He was not a writer line upon line, precept upon precept, had he not.
for he never had a message other than repent. I say that too, but I'm the writer. And nor has there ever been a message from God that wasn't written by an anointed servant of love. And as people go through the passion of Christ at my other channel, they shall hear such a testimony of love that their hearts shall become passionately fervent and uh, excitement shall fill their souls and the Lord shall renew the joy of their salvation. So blessed are those that will hear the passion of Christ that has now been recorded at my other channel as the everlasting gospel. So it's therefore time to take a journey with this foretold faith of tomorrow today. For this shall be a winter of blissful contentment. And let all people celebrate the kingdom age covenant that has now come to set all people at liberty so that all shame and guilt may be removed upon this latter-day mountain of Isaiah 2 and Micah 4. This is the latter-day mountain of Isaiah 25, where there is much food. Jesus asked the riddle in Matthew 24, Who shall feed the master's household meat while the master is away? Hello, my, my name is Daniel. So let those of love rejoice, morning, noon, and night, for a change has come. And let 777 alarms scream loudly, for it's time for something new and old, says our Messiah Emmanuel, our God with us, who shall be amongst us again very soon. So let all stupidity be damned, because the truth is there is no darkness but ignorance of love alone, and it's time to rid the earth of all spiritual racism. And the great news for everyone is that all bigotry has now been accursed and commanded to depart from this world. And praise God that these are days of God's kingdom authority upon earth. Praise him evermore, people. You don't know how exciting this is about to become. So it's time to see that restoration is change. It is the beating the sword into the uh, plowshare. It's a change that will result in the wheat and the tares not being able to grow together anymore. People, all those that cannot see that love is unconditional, don't even know what love is. So do yourself a favor and uh, stop and smell some poppies, smell some flowers, take some time. And everything that I'm showing you is a free book. Armageddon.owsley at gmail.com and I will send you 5,000 pages of this uh, free of charge. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, I've done so far everything uh, involving what I'm showing you in vain. I wrote all these books for years. I couldn't give them away. And naturally, the reason I could not give away my work because it was all kingdom age work pointing towards what will be instead of what is and what was. The age of grace is over in Jesus' mighty name by his roar. He is the Lion of Zion who roars louder than ever before. It is finished. So in these days of uh, Elijah, the days of Shiloh, who I am, the alcoholic, one transgressed by wine, but the just shall live by my faith, the bringer of God's vision of the kingdom age. Now do bring forth love's best instructions. And as it is written, I am the one bringing forth meat for the master's household while the master is still away, as Jesus said. 
and these are bulletproof evidence of God, God's Almighty's dove of love. The roaring uh, lion of Zion has sent forth his most regal eagle of the eons to bring forth new hopes, new understandings of kingdom age prosperity ahead. And praise God that instructions were left for us. And praise him some more for the restoration of the ages of the understanding that the iceberg of his love unseen was always unfathomable and always always without limits. And praise him evermore that love is Lord of everyone. And praise him all through the next thousand years of his millennial reign because he shall reign from Jerusalem and praise him that all people of love are saved and that is our inheritance revealed and all of this was is and always shall be the manifested prophesied word of love line upon line precept upon precept Isaiah 28 by the strong and mighty one who is Elijah? I am Shiloh. I am Daniel. That is my name. <laughs>